Hey, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to find out the answer to the age-old question. Who makes the better random orbital sander? Is it Festool or is it Merca? Stick around and you might just find out. So before we go any further guys, I wondered if you could give, do me a massive favour and hit that like button, uh, tap on subscribe and hit the notification bell if this is something that you're interested in. Uh, helps me know that I'm do, putting the right content out there, helps me know that you guys enjoy the work that I'm doing. Um, it is the name of the game, right? So engagement is everything. So uh, a comment on a video, uh, a thumbs up, even a thumbs down to be fair, and a subscribe is what lets YouTube know that the content that I'm putting out is what people want. And if that's what people want, then um, we'll get rated higher in the listings. And, and that's just how it works, right? It's, uh, it is, like I said, the name of the game. But yeah, so if you could do that, that would be awesome. Thank you very much. Let's get into it. So come on then, you tell me, which one do you think is better? Because I would imagine the vast majority that have come here, maybe already have a little bit of an idea in their mind of which one that they want to buy. I'm guessing that's why you're here, right? As much as I would like to give you um, a real simple, quick and fast answer, it's a little bit more nuanced than that. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick run through the machines. Uh, no technical teardowns today because they're really expensive and I don't want to screw it up. But um, yeah, we'll have a quick run through each machine, its pros and cons, and then we'll have a look and I will tell you which one I prefer in my opinion. So first things first, we'll look at the Festool. This is the ETS 155 EQ. You can see it's the five model on the top there. Uh, comes in this typical, very nice Festool sustainer case. Has the usual Festool lock-in power cord, which is great if you've got the Festool gear, Festool handle, really, I mean, what can you say about it? You know, it's Festool. Festool makes some very, very nice woodworking machinery. It, you could argue it's maybe occasionally quite high priced, but I do genuinely enjoy using it. I'll have a look, quick look in the box. Obviously all the usual Festool green fun. Comes with a little dust uh, bag, which sort of works, sort of doesn't. Um, we have the Festool MIDI down there. Um, so if we're using it, we would use it on that anyway. So the dust bag is not really one of my concerns. Um, obviously being Festool, people love it because the dust extraction is awesome. Okay, so this is the Merca Deros 5650CV. This is the 125150 model with the 5mm orbit. 125150 model means that it comes with a 150 disc and or 150 pad and a 125 pad. So you can go 5 inch or 6 inch, um, which is obviously a plus. Uh, it has their 2 plus 1 year warranty. Um, I, I do understand people who have had issues with these. That has not been our experience. Um, you can see how well used this is. It's got a bunch of uh, filler or polyurethane glue on it. Um, both of them are the majority of plastic. Festool, this bit here is, I'm guessing, Ali. Um, but yeah, for the most part, all plastic and all plastic. This one here has a trigger with a, uh, a hold on if you put that in. This one has a paddle on and off like, a, uh, like some of the angle grinders that you get. You have electronic speed control here, so you turn it on and turn it off. When you turn it on, you've got one, two, three, four, five speeds, I think, on this one. And obviously with the Festool, like I said, it's the speed controls up here. Uh, in the box with the Merca, so we have, this is the five inch pad in there, like I said, an old six inch pad. We This thing has had many, many, many hours of use, man. Um, one thing I would recommend, we've got some pad savers in here, whether you go for the Merca or whether you go for the Festool, you get some pad savers. These are expensive. I think it was maybe 30 or 40 pounds for this one. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing for the Festool one as well. Uh, I think we got, a whole pack of these, five pack of these for like 20 quid, and they will last and last and last. Um, being that it's the five and the six inch model, they came with a bunch of three discs in there. Hey up, that's in the wrong box. Um, but yeah, usual Merca type stuff. straight away I have no skin in this game right I'm not getting sponsored and um, nobody's asking me to be nice about anything um, and to be honest I would imagine maybe some of the stuff that I'll say will upset a few of you with uh, who are 
of maybe festival fanboys. Um, there is a festival fanboy following. Some people absolutely love them. Uh, to the point where they just spun money left, right and centre on gear just because it's, it's like, oh, like I said, it's the green machine, right? Uh, it's got little green um, handles on it and they genuinely love it. And if you enjoy that, that's fine. I'm not ragging you on, on, it for, uh, ragging on you for it. Um, it makes me laugh. Before Christmas, I was looking, having a look on eBay for some Festool gear and somebody was selling a Festool doormat, like a, like a 600 by 400, 400 um, uh, rubber doormat with Festool printed on it, black rubber doormat, Festool printed on it. And it sold for like 120 quid. That is madness, right? Because you're only buying it because it's, well, yeah. It's like, it's the green machine, man. People get sucked into it. If that's your thing, that's cool. You enjoy that. Um, they make really, really, really good tools. Um, some of it, in my opinion, is overpriced, but they do make extremely good tools. And the processes or the, the purpose of those particular tools, it's like Hilti, right? Hilti make amazing tools, but you're only really gonna spend that money if you're gonna do a huge amount of work with that particular tool. Festival's the same, in my opinion. Okay, so looking at it, this one here, right? The things, the pros and cons with it. One of the things I really like about it is its weight. It weighs nearly two kilos, 1.95 kilos. I just weighed on my um, scales. Uh, you know, the usual Festool handle. Uh, you've got your secondary grip here. It has the Festool power cord, so you can take that out and swap it between your other Festool gear. Um, dust extraction is amazing on it. Maybe not particularly with the uh, dust bag that you get in it, but when we connect it up to our uh, Festool MIDI, um, yeah, perfect. For what it is, for what you're supposed to use it for, I think it's great. Uh, it's 310 watts, so um, it's not as powerful as the Merca, but I think with that additional weight, it doesn't really matter. I will be honest, I think that they're great tools in that own right, both of them, but I think that they're for different applications. I think what you need to do when you're looking at both of these machines is decide what sort of projects you're gonna be doing. If you're gonna be refinishing old scaffold boards, right? If you're gonna be refinishing uh, like outdoor furniture, you're going to be doing big jobs like that, then yeah, this is probably the tool for you. Because of that additional weight, it means it's great for stock removal and for finish removal. Now, we had a job uh, two or three years ago now where we did some work for Girton College at Cambridge University, the Cambridge University, eh? Um, and we made some huge letters that were going to go outside for, I don't know, I think they were outside for a week in the middle of summer. So it wasn't too much of an issue, so we just cut the timber and uh, painted it. The paint didn't adhere properly because it hadn't been mixed correctly. So we tried scraping it, we tried a few other things. Eventually, um, we had to just sand it off. Now, I mean, that was a horrendous job. That was like, I got to the workshop like half five, six o'clock in the morning. Uh, it was like 30 degrees come nine, 10 o'clock in the morning, and I was sanding for about six hours. And this did it, right? I mean, it cleaned all the paint off of all the letters. They were like uh, 900 mil high. Um, it worked, and then we could uh, refinish the timber, put the correct paint on there, perfect. However, if I was to be sanding a wall like this with two kilos, and you, so that's the other thing, right? So your hand's way off center for the center of gravity. Up here, it's not too bad, but you're gonna be down here for the vast majority of your time, which means it's gonna try to keep pulling your wrist down, which is gonna put additional strain on your wrist, on your forearms, shoulders, uh, yeah, your biceps and your shoulders, which after a few days is really gonna hurt. Maybe you've got issues with your, uh, your wrists, your hands, forearms and shoulders, maybe this probably isn't the tool for you. Um, if, however, you're gonna do a huge amount of stock removal, this is perfect. The other things I like about it, it comes with its own little Allen key, because we always know that when you need to change something, it's got an Allen key in it, you can never find one. Uh, dust extraction, as with all Festival tools, is awesome. But, uh, but yeah, great tool for the job that it's made for. Now, the Merca. I genuinely love this. Um, I'm not a Merca fanboy, this is the only Merca tool we own. But it's perfect for what we use it for. So we do a lot of detail sanding, finish sanding, and this is awesome. The, uh, the paddle, you know, it's on, right? There's no buttons to click, there's nothing to keep your finger on. Um, it's just on whenever you want to use it. You have your uh, electronic speed control, you've got electric on and off here, and then you turn it up and down. And it also has Bluetooth to monitor your, uh, the amount of vibrations that are going into your hand. So again, if you're using it long term, 
um, or you're buying it from a member of staff who's doing a huge bunch of finishing work, that's great. Uh, I don't know if you can with the Festool, but I know with this one, if you add a pad saver, um, what you have to do is you need to take this off and there's some little uh, nuts in here that you need to adjust and that helps keep the vibrations down. It's, it details it all in the uh, instruction manual. This weighs half of what the Festool does. Now, not only is your centre of gravity better because you're holding it right over the, um, over the pad, but it also weighs nearly a kilo less. And I tell you what, man, when you're working for an hour and if you're doing vertical sanding like this, like a front of a cabinet, or you're doing fine detail work and you want to be moving something around, doing this with something that weighs two kilos is going to shatter, like knock you out in, in, uh, in, well, in half the time, right? Because it's double the weight. So um, yeah, genuinely do love this. Again, as with the Festool, dust extraction is perfect. Um, comes with its own, uh, I don't know if I said, but yeah, the Festool has like its uh, Festool power cord. Merca have their power cord, so they're both attachable, which is a beautiful thing. If you trash the cord on something else, the tools are gone, um, unless you can replace the cord. With these, you can just replace the cord, so there's no issue with it being uh, pat tested and failing. So that is my two cents on it then. What do you reckon? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? Are you a Festool fanboy or are you a Merca fanboy? I like both. Personally, I think they're great tools. Um, I can't fault them. We've not had any issues with either of them. The dust extraction is, is perfect on both of them. Um, but for me personally, they have their place, right? And they're not, and the line isn't necessarily blurred like it is with a lot of tools. Um, if you're going to do a lot of stock removal, you're working with lots of 40, 60, 80 grit. Uh, you may be do, working with uh, reclaimed scaffold boards, working with reclaimed timber. Festool's your man, right? This is the thing that's going to be able to uh, rip that finish off there, remove that stock on there, and um, do it in half the time because of the weight. If you're doing a lot of finishing work, you're uh, doing cabinetry, um, you're working with, uh, what am I trying to say? You're working with nice, high-end stuff, then this is really what you want. It's lighter, it's easier to hold. Um, the vibrations, in my opinion, are lower on this. I know there's been issues with this. I've read places that people have had problems with the electronics module. I would argue that's maybe a bad batch because we've never had any problems with ours. So yeah, so it's not really um, hard and fast, this one's better or this one's better, which is kind of sucky because I'm sure that's what a lot of you want. We use them every day. You know, we're not somebody that's been sent them and we've used them for a couple jobs and then uh, we've sacked them off and then we're coming here telling you what's what. They get used all the time and for the last few years at that. In my opinion, the rule of thumb being, you want stock removal, you want heavy duty work, Festool is your man. If you want um, light work, like detail work, you're finishing cabinets, you're, um, you're doing small work, you're gonna be working for a long time, you're gonna be doing a bit of vertical sanding in there, you know, you're doing a bit of edge sanding, Mercury is your man. I do really like using this tool. So then, am I right or am I wrong? I know you have an opinion. I know you think one way or the other. Do me a favor, let me know in the comments and, uh, and I'll do my best to get back to you. You have an awesome day and you take it easy.